So, coming up on the entertainment review this week, we'll be meeting a singer-songwriter from Limerick. Eddie Carey will be here. But before all that, we're here in the Hudson Entertainment Complex here in Belfast, and to tell us more about it, uh, Peter Lavery is here. So, Peter, quite a lot of work has gone into the new-look Hudson Bar, hasn't it? Certainly has, Robin, but uh, people like it, and uh, that's more about it. And obviously, we're trying to give it a new lease of life, and especially as part of Belfast, uh, the old Smithfield, and top end of Royal Avenue, so uh, we're delighted with what we've done to it. So what kind of big plans have you got for the, the, co the coming year ahead? Well, obviously we're getting into more live entertainment into the complex, and uh, also we've got little Johnny Hero here on a, a Saturday night, and uh, Johnny can bring a crowd or two, so uh, looking forward to it for a new chance to bring this part of Belfast back into real life again. Now we're here in the uh, Smithfield area of Belfast, which is a pretty historic area, but it's an area that has kind of been forgotten about in recent years, hasn't it? It's been forgotten about, and there's uh, there seems to be a wee bit of life starting to take place here again. Uh, without a demolition, it's, it's probably four or five years before it'll be any type of uh, real life. But we're here, we're staying here, and hopefully we'll be a part of the, the whole new Smithfield in Royal Avenue, top end Royal Avenue. You mentioned entertainment in the bar as well. It's a great venue for live entertainment. Are you going to be supporting lots of local artists? That's right here. We've got John Rodler. He's getting up coming bonds, and they're coming to speak to John, and John's getting them here and drove. So uh, people will get an opportunity to showcase themselves here, and hopefully they'll be seen, and other people will be able to like their music and use them elsewhere too. And if people want to maybe come along and um, hire the venue for an event or a launch or something like that, can they do that as well? Certainly can. They'll come down and meet, uh, talk to the two managers here. Uh, obviously, there's a few building rooms of the bar. We have certainly helped try to help them accommodate them. Right. And Peter, do you have a website where people can check out more information about what's on? It's HudsonBelfast.com. Great stuff, Peter. The very best of luck with the new bar. Thank you, Robin. Now let's meet a singer-songwriter from Limerick. We were down at the uh, launch of the Dalriada Festival last week, and we caught up with Eddie Carey. He was going far away, headed for Australia to sing his heart away. Well, I say the crack was mighty, I'm down there and heard. He never got so far. He stopped up in the peace by. So, Eddie, welcome to Glen Arm. Are you looking forward to this year's Downriata Festival? I am indeed. It's my first year here, so I'm really, 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 really looking forward to this year's festival. So um, um, we got we got the call there a couple of weeks ago to ask would I be interested in doing it, and I couldn't just say no. I was really looking forward. And you've come up the whole way from Limerick today, haven't you? Yeah, we are indeed. Um, I've been, I suppose, I've been kind of travelling all over the place the last couple of weeks. You know, I've been doing press releases for this and press releases for that. But um, we're up from Newcastle West, is where I'm from, and. Um, I've been actually staying with the manager, he lives in Dungannon, so I've been staying with the manager in Dungannon for the last couple of days. Excellent. So things have been going really well in the south for you, but now they seem to be really taken off up here in the north as well. Yeah, they have. For the last, we've been on the road about six months, we've just started to put the band together, and we've been getting out um, like CDs to radio stations, DVDs and stuff like that. And it's really, really we've been going from strength to strength the last couple of months, you know, so it's good. Now you've got the new record out as well and a video to go with it, haven't you? I have indeed. The new record is called Murphy's Bar and um, it's just it's just after being released actually and it's about a song that I've written myself. It's about a fellow called Seamus from met at the airport that he left his wife and family the whole lot and he was heading off to, to Australia and he brought nothing with him, only a fiddle. So that's how the story started. So it's been going good for us for the last couple of months, you know. And the video is a pretty interesting video. You're all over the place shooting it, aren't you? Yeah, we were indeed. We, 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 started, at, um, we started down in Bangor, we were in Dungana, kind of everywhere, all over the place, right? We were, we were everywhere kind of doing it, you know. So, so as people are watching, you kind of spot the location. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You can spot. You might even see yourself in the video. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> so, Eddie, what's the kind of long-term plans? I mean, the, the country scene at the minute is really, really good. It's really, really good place to be in. What, what's your long-term goals? Well, as I said, I, I love doing what I do. What I do right now. Um, our long-term terms is putting a band on the road and just gigging out and doing what I like to do, and that's it. You know? Yeah. I love gigging, and that's it. I love meeting new people. Every time you know, you meet someone different. So. Like I met you today. <laughs> so, <isn't it? laughs> who are you listening to on the circuit at the minute? Who do you think is really good? Um, well, I listen to a lot of American country music right now, but uh, on the other scene, I like Mike Dinho, I like Nathan Cowell, which will I be supporting them, and the Ariana Festival. Um, 
I like I like it. kind of everybody to tell the truth. You know, I I wouldn't have a, a fear of it. <laughs> okay. Uh, you mentioned Mike Denver there. You've got a big gig coming up with Mike Denver, haven't you? I have indeed. Yeah, we have a, we have a day, uh, day coming up with Mike Denver. You know the details, I think, don't you? <laughs> it's uh, the fourth of May, I believe, at the Bangor Elam Church. Yes, it is indeed, and we're looking forward to that day as well with Mike Denver. Um, so hopefully everything will go well for that day as well. And then, of course, uh, back here at Dalriada during July, uh, you're on stage with uh, Nathan Carter. Yeah, I'm really looking forward. I've played with Nathan a few times, so I have, and um, this this is going to be a great, great festival. You know, I'm really, really looking forward to this festival. Brilliant. Eddie, if people want to get more information about you and what you do, have you got a website up and running? We have indeed. It's www.eddiecarymusic.com. So you can check all the list of dates, everything that's up there. Where we get our clothes, we get our clothes from Cuba and Dungannon, so they sponsor all our clothes. <laughs> just have to give them a mention. So we get all our clothes and stuff for that. And um, as I think I said, if I mention them, I get a free suit. Yeah, you never know. Try it and see what Eddie happens. Eddie, Cuba. Cuba. Cuba in Dungannon. <laughs> I can do with a new suit. Thank you. <laughs> Eddie, thank you so much. No and enjoy the WRF Festival. Thanks very much. We'll see you again. Bye, Eddie. So let's talk movies, and if you were around in the 1980s, then you'll definitely remember the Californian Highway Patrol. We're talking about the TV series Chips, and it's the latest TV series to hit the big screen. A new version has been made, and it opens in cinemas everywhere this weekend. California Highway Patrol. This job is crucial. Without us out there, come on, what the no one could get hurt. California Highway Patrol think they have some crooked cops. They want you to go on the inside. Go in the cover within the department? That's awesome. We put you with a rookie named John Baker. So who am I playing? Francis Llewellyn Poncharello. Are the first two female names? <laughs> John, I like you. You remind me of my husband. He is really handsome. You've had 23 surgeries. You can ride a motorcycle, I'll give you that. Now, let's see what's happening throughout Belfast and beyond in the coming week. And starting off with the 4th and 5th of April, and Ollie Murs makes a welcome return to Belfast's SSE Arena. Then on the 6th of April, Belfast finalist of The Voice UK, Leah McFall, plays the Mandela Hall. Like a child, I'm wanted into the den, facing the foolish of the wisest men. Oh, I keep singing that. On the 7th of April, you can catch the legendary Mary Black live in concert at Belfast's Waterfront Hall, playing all her big hits, including Past the Point of Rescue, A Woman's Heart, A Wonder Child, and many more. And running at Belfast's Grand Opera House from the 4th until the 8th of April, Belfast Operatic Company present Jekyll and Hyde, the musical featuring classic songs like Someone Like You and This Is The Moment, as performed here by Carl McGuckin. This is the moment, my final test, destiny beckoned, I never Is the moment, the sweetest moment. 